guys, today we are in Elysburg, Pennsylvania at Knobles, a 97 year old park, free admission, has won 19 out of the last 22 years as the best food in the United States at theme parks, and has the number one rated wooden roller coaster. So we're gonna take you around here and show you what this place is all about. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. When you first arrive at Knobles, you got all this free parking. They even have a tram section. Come up here, see that sign? Handicap. Plenty of handicap parking. So you cannot beat that. Most places charge you $25 to park your car. Not here, completely free. They have a charging station for electric vehicles here. Here's your main entrance. Look what they have on the weekends. Half a chicken stuffing, two vegetables, ten seventy-five. You cannot beat that, guys. And for a child, it's nine twenty-five. Good deal. Plus tax. One of the nice things about this park is you can bring in food and water. Look at the picnic area they have. A lot of tables. And they have areas throughout the whole park, so that is a good deal. If you don't want to buy food in here, just bring it in yourself. So as you first come in here, got this roller coaster to this side pretty decent size Ferris wheel. The park opens at 12 o'clock. We're in here around 11. The pool opens at 11. Yep, the pool does open at 11. We'll show you that here in a second. Now we told you earlier, this place is free, but they do have entertainment. So you can just come in here and watch some bands play. It's like they have a puppet show and their famous potato cakes. Now, admission into the park is free, but if you want to ride something, you do have to purchase tickets. And on the weekends, that's the only way you can ride is buy tickets. But during the weekdays, you can get a wristband for $55, but that does not include the Haunted Mansion. If you want to ride that, it is $350 a ride. Now, Knobles has a pool here. It was constructed in the fall of 1925, opened July 4th, 1926. 900,000 gallons of water. Look what kind of water it is. Refreshing mountain stream water. It is $8.50 to use it. $14.50 if you want to use the pool and the slides. And they have several lifeguards on duty. So it should be safe. And have the backdrop of the roller coaster. Now we just stopped and asked someone about the $55 all day pass. Now you can use that on the weekends in April and May in September and October, not in the summer. Here's a map of the whole park. You can download it to your phone, that's what we did. It has 64 rides. And you can bring dogs to this park. We walked the park, it's not as big as it looks, but it's decent size and it's mainly flat, so there's no hills to go up. Now this organ is 126 years old, built in 1907. Knobles got it in 1948. This organ also contains over 300 pipes and bell bars. 100 years old, guys. Still works great. Well guys, this is the only way I'm gonna get Bobby on the Phoenix in the front seat is to take her picture. Gonna go for a ride on the Phoenix, so we're gonna have to buy some tickets. We're just gonna get $50 worth, ride the rest of the day. This one's $4.50 in tickets by itself. Let's go up here and get them. All right guys, you wanna go for a ride with me on the Phoenix, the number one rated wooden roller coaster in the United States. It says it right there. World's best. Visit Playland Park, ride the rocket, the world's finest roller coaster. That's what it was called then. Today it is known as the Phoenix.
Look at this, guys. On Wednesday nights from 4 to 7, all you can eat spaghetti for $10.25. Gigantic Ferris wheel. Might have to try to ride that later. We're gonna head up here by this big loaf of bread and get us Knoebel's famous potato cakes. What do you think, Bobby? Any chance of getting you on that? Not that one. No way, huh? I don't think you'd ride that either. Well, I don't know. I might be a little too old for that. So that's running, there goes the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel is pretty quick for a big one. Let's take a look at the menu. Potato cakes, $2 each or three for five. Hot dog, $2.75. Pickle on a stick, $1.50. Bottled water for three. There's their world famous potato cake. It was $2 and the sour cream was a dollar. Just gonna put a little bit there. Cause John and I are gonna share this and I don't think he likes sour cream on his. Probably better just to pull it apart. Yeah, just rip it apart, Bobby. It doesn't matter. Looks like a piece of sausage. Doesn't it? Close. <laughs> now, to me, it tastes like hash browns because it's crispy around here. I don't know. It, it's different. When Mom used to make them, she always used leftover mashed potatoes with the egg and then, you know, patted them, put a little bit of flour. Hers look different. Maybe they're flatter because they're pancakes. These are okay. They're not my favorite. I'm gonna try these without any sour cream and they are crispy on the edges. I'm gonna stick with the hash browns. These are made with eggs and flour. Hash browns, shredded up, loose. I like a lot better than these. I know Knoebel's is famous for these, but I wouldn't get these again. Knoebel's famous French fries. They are $5 with cheese, they are six. Now up front here we have the Alamo, but around the side is a sit-down restaurant. It's the only one at this location. Yeah, Trevor works at the ice cream. You can get some hot dogs and some other items up here. Ice cream cones, apple dumplings, all kind of good things. The Pioneer Train. Enjoy a one and a half mile ride through the cool scenic countryside. So let's just go for a ride, guys. $3 each in tickets. I'm gonna go right underneath the roller coaster. This ride takes you a pretty good ride out through the woods. It looks like somebody's eating some corn out here. natural swimming hole on Roaring Creek that attracted the first visitors to Knoebel's farm. There's a swan swimming in there today. As you're walking through Knoebel's, I see all these houses out in the middle of the park. Not sure who lives there. Not used to seeing that either. Headed to the Twister. Well, if you guys are ready, we're going to use our 450 in tickets and take a ride on the Twister.
Now, even though it's July and about 90 degrees out here, they have a Christmas cottage in here. Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread, aren't those cute? They are. They would look good on our couch. $43. Now this park is loaded with gift shops and places to eat, but it's gonna be ranked that high every year in theme parks on the food. On a hot day like this, nothing wrong with coming up here and standing in front of this. Cool you down. Backyard barbecue, let's see what they have. Pork chop on a stick, fresh roasted corn and street corn. It's not a bad price. And a pickle on a stick for $1.50. Head on down to the International Food Court. This is something you don't see every day. Gator bites as seen on the Food Network. Problem is, they're sold out. That's what I was gonna get. All right, let's just take a quick look. The Three Amigos. Enjoy a taste of the Old West Bison Burger. There's your chicken sandwiches over there. So I think we're gonna try some tacos. Here's what they have, quesadillas, burritos, tacos. You can get a combo for $10. Look at that, for five bucks. Doesn't look too bad, and a frozen slush for $3.50. And if you want out of the sun, it's a pretty big area to eat with some shade. All right, we got some tacos for $4 for two of them. Just got some salsa down on the bottom, some beef, tomatoes, bacon. Looks like some refried beans in there. Let's try it. Well, guys, it's very hot out here, so it's hard to eat a big meal on a hot day like this. So we want the tacos, something light. The seasoned beef. Get a little bit of flavor out of there, not a lot. You can really taste the tomatoes on there. Got some salsa on there. Maybe get a hint of that, because there's not a lot of salsa. Clear down at the bottom. The shell's average, nothing special. I need some jalapenos and sour cream on this, but it's $2. I love cornbread, so I had to get this. It was only a dollar. Bad thing is, no butter. Now, when I first pick it up, it reminds me of a piece of cake. It's that soft. It's very moist. That's probably why it felt like a cake. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't get this again. Um, it's just, it's just so soft. I mean, it's. I think it's too moist or something. It doesn't taste like cornbread to me. Now I have to disagree with John on the tacos. I did like them. I thought the meat had some good flavor to it, with the salsa that they put over top of it. The lettuce and tomatoes were fresh. You got the cheddar cheese. I just wish the taco shell itself was a little bit fresher. But for two dollars at an amusement park, that's a good deal. I like the looks of the SS Jolly Trolley. Has a skeleton up there. We're not going to go there though. We're going to go right next door to the backyard barbecue and get this pork chop on a stick for four dollars and fifty cents. They also have some burnt ends with barbecue sauce for eight dollars. It's not bad. Pork chop on a stick, and that's what it is. Decent size. Now oh, this is pretty good. I like this better than I did that taco. It's tender, thin. Probably should go up here and get some barbecue sauce maybe to dip it in. But to me, that's probably worth $4.50. But it's hot. I saw her take it out of the pan. I thought it might be cold, but it's not. Pretty good. Now, just in case you're wondering, there's not much seasoning in this. I don't even really know if there's salt and pepper on here but I love the flavor of the pork chop by itself. Knoebel's History Museum. Let's just take a quick look in here, guys. So they got a Ferris wheel coming out of the side of the building. It's probably one of the old ones. Talks about building some of the rides in here. Here's an old fortune machine from 1950. Said it was an operation here till 1985. Gave you your horoscope. Now here are the mascots for Knobles. I like this guy. The Creeper. Halloween mascot, 2011. This self-contained rescue breathing apparatus is a duplicate of the unit used at the Sago mine disaster. I can still remember when that happened. If you want to, you can go inside the mine museum and pick you up a bag of raw materials and come out here and mine. There are your prices for that. 
you want one that has fossils in it, it's $11.95. You just come down here and mine. It's pretty cool. That's what we should go get on. It's pretty hot out here. Get wet. Now this being the 50th birthday celebration for the Haunted Mansion. There's Haunted Mansion merchandise throughout this park. We did a whole video on the Haunted Mansion, but we'll go in the store and just kind of show you what's in here real quick in this video. Here are the t-shirts for the Haunted Mansion. And then last night, while we were in here, they got this puzzle in over three feet wide. Now inside this building is a carousel museum. It's free, but we're not allowed to film or take pictures of it. All right, guys, let's get a piece of pizza. Look at the sign up there. It looks like something out of the Roman Empire. Let's take a look at the menu. Our regular pie is $19, $4 for a slice. Toppings are 50 cents each. Maybe we'll get a slice of pepperoni pizza. It's thin, crust looks crispy. We'll go in right here. It's a good piece of pizza. It's really thin. I like the crunchiness of this crust. The sauce is like tangy, but a little spicy. I do like it. Pepperoni, they gave us what, about seven good pieces of that on there. I like it, $4. Quick bite for me, so I'll take a bite right there. Well, that is a little tangy and spicy. I don't know if it's coming from the pepperoni or the sauce. You can see the bottom of it. That's pretty decent. Very thin, worth the $4. Here's another place you can sit and eat here, underneath these old carousels that are still spicy. Spinning around. Knobles is celebrating 50 years of the Haunted Mansion. And for this, they brought out a bunch of themed merchandise, themed food, tickets you can collect. The problem is when you buy one of these tickets, you have to use it to get in. Or you can just buy it and not use it, keep it as a souvenir. It's $3.50 to go in this house. It's not included with a wristband. We did a whole video on the food and this ride, so you can watch that. Let's go for a ride on Gasoline Alley. We'll get the ride underneath the Phoenix. lighthouse out here in the middle of the park. It was built in the mid-1930s. Said it was inspired by lighthouses seen on the eastern shore during family vacations. The Knoebel Lighthouse was constructed with stones taken out of nearby streams and rivers. Now if you want to play miniature golf you can for five dollars extra. Look at the big birthday cake. Best wishes. You have your birthday party here, John. I know, that's a nice place to have it. Got the candy canes going around it. Have your party here. Spare your home the mess. Even have a sink in the center of it. Stony Gables, built in 1933. It was used as a summer cottage, but in 1973, they turned it into a fudge shop. It's pretty cool looking. Quick peek. Chocolate fudge pie for six dollars. Some M&Ms on there. There's your lineup of different fudges. Anything else? Peanut butter fudge marshmallow with topping. Look at these. Fudge push-up pops. Some different apples and some sugar-free fudge. Cotton candy, chocolate walnut, and some peanut butter. Here's the history of the Grand Carousel, purchased by Knobles in 1941 and moved here from New Jersey. 
63 horses and three chariots make it one of the largest remaining carousels in the country. Four of them. I saw the brass one, I just couldn't get it. Did not know this was back here. There's a little boat ride you can ride and a tiny roller coaster back in this corner. You don't want to ride the big ones. But there it is. Something I think would be fun is to go up the side of this mountain on this scenic skyway, but it's temporarily closed. All the carts are off of it. Just head up there, come back down. Probably some pretty good views from up there. Maybe next time. Here's a couple facts about this skyway. It's 1,300 feet one way, 360 feet elevation change, 14 minute ride, and it was originally in Vermont. You saw when we first came in where they have the all-you-can-eat spaghetti. You eat that back here. This is the oasis. They also have tacos, fish fry, and chicken dinners and meatloaf. Let's just head back real quick. It's not open. Only opens at 4 o'clock till 7 o'clock. Let's take a look at what they have in the oasis. On Saturdays and Sundays, they have the chicken dinner for $10.75. Also on Saturday and Sunday, meatloaf, $10.75. Wednesday night, spaghetti, $10.25 tacos for $12 and a fish fry for $10.75. Then you just come back here and you can eat inside. It looks like you just come down through here and get your meal. Should have got the spaghetti dinner. So we were here on Wednesday night. That would have been a good deal. That's a pretty cool trash can. Please feed me paper. It's a good way of people maybe picking up their trash. Yeah, especially kids. I wonder how old that is. I haven't seen anything like that in years. Now we're standing in this gazebo back here in Kitty Land. They have a lot of rides for the kids and a place for you to picnic and eat. A little bug ride over there. Dune buggies. There's a miniature Ferris wheel over there. It's a little turnpike. And a miniature carousel for your kids if they're too small for the grand carousel and several other rides that you can't see in this video right here. We talked about this place winning many awards for their food. Look at all these dining options that they have here. There's a potato cake stand, that funnel cakes, you have a Starbucks and the wharf. Look at that, 33 different options on eating. This is a cute area for the kids. Look at all the gingerbread. There's the clubhouse. Those are nice. Look at these little gingerbread guys. I bet you a few years back you would have been in there. When I was a little girl I would have played there. Looks like they have a bunch of buildings too going around to the back. So much stuff to do here. Since they're celebrating 50 years of the Haunted Mansion, we're gonna go up here and get a themed item. The Franken Chicken, $8.25. Sold at the International Food Court. There's a crispy chicken patty under there. Let me see if I can see it. 
There it is. Some bacon, pickle aioli, tons of pickles, and a tomato. All right, Bobby's gonna load this up with the pickles, six of them. That's what it says right on the thing. A lot of pickles, you got pickle aioli on there. There it is. Let's see if I can pick this up, give you a side view. Ah, the bacon's not overly crisp. There's some chicken and bacon, so I'm going in right there. Gonna be messy. Now the first thing you get when you bite into this is flavor of the chicken. Surprisingly, with all those pickles and that pickle aioli on there, you think you would taste that. No chicken, but you do. Then you can taste those pickles and that aioli sauce. Very tangy with all those pickles on there. There's six of them on there. And there's some white American cheese on there. Now the bacon's not overly crisp, but it's pretty good and you can taste that so you get all those flavors in there so if you don't like a tangy and a pickle sandwich you're not going to like this but the chicken is very good and i would get this again flying turns a trackless roller coaster the only the one I in the, the world they told us we couldn't build it but we did anyway maybe we'll take a ride on that Also had the apple cider you could get. These were two dollars and seventy-five cents. Definitely good on a hot day like today. It reminds me of a Jolly Rancher. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with us at Knobles and riding a few rides and trying a few different foods. What did you think about it, Bobby? I had a great time. This is a good park to bring a family. You don't have to pay to get in or parking. You can bring your own food because they have a big picnic area. Bring your own drinks, so that will save you on money to do the rides. But their food prices, I thought, were pretty reasonable. They are, and their food's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.